Uh, I'm talking about lumbar spondylolisthesis. Spondylolisthesis is a slipping of a segment forward and backward. So normally the spine bends forward, backward and sideways in the cervical spine there is rotation. There's also rotation in the thoracic and lumbar spine, not so much. But uh, you see when the segment starts to slip forward and backward as you know 10% plus minus uh, um, is the inc incidence of that. Uh, it's wearable, incidence is wearable but it may be around 10% up and down. Um, then you got to see what you can do. So regenerative medicine techniques are very, very helpful there. Even if the patient has sciatica, you know, sciatica is anticipated because as the segment slips, you know, biomechanically we're going to pinch the nerves. So the central stenosis symptoms are going to come because the patient has now a narrower canal or relative spinal stenosis. And the other, so uh, if we stabilize the spine with regenerative medicine techniques, that can make a major difference uh, in the patients, uh, not just sciatica, but for the back also. So the key thing you want to tell the patient uh, doing for the spondylolisthesis is it should help your lower back so that the grabbing pain from the slip as the facets get irritated, that should, God willing, go away and get better significantly. And uh, uh, with that, uh, if there is, uh, uh, as the segments tends to stabilize, uh, you should see improvement in neurogenic claudication kind of symptoms. Um, sciatica, you don't recommend it for that because uh, you know you want to promise only what we can hopefully deliver in most cases. So for spondylolisthesis, as long as the back is concerned, we can work to improve the back pain, particularly the facet related intermittent biomechanical pain. But uh, we should not promise more than that and it should make a difference.